Well, now to a strange scene that played out in a Texas courtroom during the trial of Warren Jeffs, the polygamous sect leader charged with sexually assaulting a child. This week, Jeffs fired his defense team and said very little until yesterday when he jumped up and objected for nearly an hour. ABC's Dan Kleffler is here with the story. A lot of theatrics there. Yeah, there absolutely was. A lot of people watching this case very closely because despite the magnitude of these charges, Warren Jeffs is going it alone without lawyers. And right from the start of this trial, he has shown a combative, almost condescending approach to defend his name and his actions. The silent sectarian who's been near mute in court broke his silence with two ringing words, I object. As an FBI agent was about to list names of people in polygamous Warren Jeffs' compound, Jeffs suddenly stood and began to deliver his objections for almost an hour, seemingly thinking that he was in a pulpit, not a courtroom. Jeff said that there is sacred trust given to religious leadership not to be touched by government agencies. For 55 minutes, he droned on, attacking the court for infringing on his rights and saying that he's not looking for the court's approval. But his near-hour sermon came to an end when the judge told him, Time's up. You have to look at Warren Jeffs like you look at many people that create cults, become the leader of cults like a David Koresh, like a Jim Jones. They aspire to those positions because they believe they're the Messiah. God's talking to you and God says to do something and it comes out of Warren's mouth. I mean, you do it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You do it. Are you ready for trial, sir? Thursday, Jeffs fired his entire legal team and is representing himself. One might view this as, as uh, his, him saying that this is my battle and, and I want to represent myself. The wacky and the unusual seem to have become the norm in this case, and this was just another example. For this case, it seems that the bizarre has just begun. And at the end of his nearly hour-long sermon, the judge overruled Jeff's objections, saying that court rules prohibited him from testifying while objecting. The judge also instructed Jeffs to meet with his fired lawyers on proper court etiquette before the next court session starts on Monday.